Uh, hello, is is this the Lawrence Welk show? And yes, I, I I'm sorry for calling you this late, but I'd like to complain about that last number that you did. I think Joanne Castle's faking it. Okay, I don't don't have her on anymore. She's she's just a, f a fake. Okay, she's a fake. No, 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 I'm not drunk, sir. No, I'm a concerned viewer. Well, same to you. Well, now, that could actually have happened back in the 1960s and 70s, and it could have happened on this very phone. This is a princess phone. This is a very well-known, popular phone. This is about between about a 68 and a 71 or 2 based on some of the things that's it changed through the years on these. So let me turn the overhead back on so we can see a little better and we'll check this phone out. Alright, let's take a look. It's kind of homey here, isn't it? Looks like I'm in the 70s. Huh. First of all, one of her clues is it has, the uh, camera's probably not going to show too well, but that says Bell System Property Not For Sale Western Electric on the handpiece. If that's the case, how did, how did I get it? If it wasn't for sale, then none of them should have ever been sold. If this is a type that has a, an internal ringer. This is a, if you look, I don't know if you, how well you'll see this, but that here's your code stamping over here. This is a 702B, that red there. You hear that guy go by? He drives that truck like that every time. Every time he goes by here. It's one of those about a 2000 or 2003 Chevy 4x4s. And you saw the other video that pissed so many people off, but he goes by here every time like he's going to a fire somewhere. And then the bottom code is supposed to be uh, your date code and it's kind of unusual. It's not what I've seen on the internet. It says R571. So what I'm thinking that must mean is this was refurbished in 5 of 1971. Uh, there's some things about this these phones that my limited knowledge of them that kind of uh, kind of establish their date, their age. This is the size of the cutout in this pad here. Uh, whether it says uh, bell system not for sale, which this one does. And it's going to ring her here, I guess is what this is. Yeah, loud and soft there. Kind of turn the wrong way. And this one has been converted to a modular. Whoops, I got that backwards. But you can see it's kind of it's an aftermarket deal because it's not in there straight. And this, I can tell by looking at it. I don't know if the camera will show it very well, but this cutout that's here for the modular plug is not even, and unfortunately, it has created a crack in the housing. And I have tested this phone out. No, oh, by the way, um, unfortunately, I don't have home phone service in the house here, so I can't call these phones and ring them for you. I sure wish I could, but. I have used this phone and it does um, it does dial and dial out I think it will make a phone call it does not ring so who knows what's going on there but there's plenty of resources to uh, repair that when I get around to it and this has a nice long cord on it so this is good for if you're laid across your queen size bed in a stupor you've been watching Dean Martin all night uh, it's good for lounging across the bed and not accidentally turning the phone over as you're rolling around on the bed. So, all right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. So, we'll see you in another video. And I don't know, maybe Joanne Castle did fake it. She sure kind of looked like it sometimes. See ya.